Hello, Helpful Program here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about creating sprites and moving them around on the screen. First off, we need to create a sprite to use. So opening up Paint or any other graphical editor, let's create a sprite 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels in depth. To check this, if you're using Paint, go to Attributes and you'll see at Width 100 and Height 100. Once we've done that, we can save it. So, File, Save As. My Documents, Visual Studio 2008, Projects, and the project we saved it as. So, starting off, click it again. And these are the sprites that the person who created the template used. So, let's go ahead and delete that. So, delete. And delete. And then let's save it as player. And save. Make sure you're saving as bitmap. That's the one that Dark GDK uses. Going into our project, to our main.cpp file, let's first off create a chroma keen effect. So db set image color spot the American way key open parentheses and you need to have the red green and blue value of your background so going back to our picture we can see it's the pink to find out the red green and blue value double click on the color that you've used and go to define custom color and you'll see at red it's 255, at green it's 0 and at blue it's 255 so going back put 255 comma going into our green value which is 0 comma and our blue value which is 255 now when it runs the, any picture with pink in its background will be turned into transparent now let's load our image up we're going to use the function db load image open parentheses and open speech marks we put the file name so player dot bmp close speech marks and do a comma and then we put it id let's call this the load id these are used to say which picture you want in using dark gdk so if you're creating a sprite you wanted to use the image with the load id of one etc so let's give this a load ID of 1. No IDs can be the same. Closing parentheses into a semicolon. DB load image loads the image into the game but now we need to display it on the screen. You can display multiple sprites with the same image using the ID. So let's go ahead and use the function DB sprite. Still remembering about the capital letter open parentheses and then the first section we need to put the sprite ID or the new sprite ID that we're going to use this can be different to the load ID but again two sprite IDs can't be the same so let's give it a sprite ID of one comma and then in this, in this next section we need to put the X coordinate so the starting position on the X coordinate that it's going to be pasted on the screen so let's give a starting position of a hundred comma and then the same with the y so let's give it a starting position of let's say fifty do a comma and then here we need to say which load id it is so the, we want the player to be displayed and it has a load id of one so let's put one here so one close parentheses and do a semicolon now what this will do will display our player on the screen at the coordinates 150. Going into our while loop, we won't need to do anything here at the moment, but we need to make sure after the while loop, so if it breaks and the program's going to quit, that we need to delete the image and the sprite. So because we only have one image and one sprite, we can just go db delete image one and db delete sprite one close parentheses and do a semicolon 
that will make sure that we don't have any memory leaks. Now if we go and run this program, you'll see that it displays our sprite at 100 pixels across and 50 pixels down. Now in games we want to move a character or a sprite, so let's go ahead and learn how to move sprites. A sprite is moved using the function db move sprite. This has two sections in it, the sprite ID that you want to move and the velocity. So let's move one at a velocity of one or two maybe or yeah one. Closing parentheses and do a semicolon. This will move the sprite one pixel forwards every time the while loop runs through. Let's go and see. As you can see, it moves up one pixel every time the while loop loops through. Sprites move on an axis. The default axis is zero degrees up. If we want to change the axis, then we can use the function db rotate sprite to rotate the sprite so the axis moves as well. So one, let's move, let's rotate it to 90 degrees. Do a semicolon. We don't want it to keep rotating 90 degrees each time so let's put it out of the while loop so it just rotates to 90 and then that will be it let's go and run the program as you see it's rotated the sprite 90 degrees and it's moving at a steady speed of 1 pixel per loop and you'll see that it just glides off screen we can change it so we can put it in an if statement so if and this is going to be a user input db up key open close parentheses and like db escape key we'll do two equals signs in the one to see if it's been pressed and if it is being pressed move the sprite one pixel up let's go and run it now to see what happens as you see it's not moving because it's not because the if statement is not true if I do press the up key you'll see that it will move up now this is the very beginning of movement in sprites and we can do it to move left and right up and down to the side and everything like that let's try and move to left and right there is no function to move left or move right it can only move up and down but we can do something to do it sort of behind the scenes where we rotate it so db rotate sprite one because that's the sprite ID and 90 degrees so this will rotate it to the right so if we do the move sprite it will move one pixel to the right but always make sure we want to rotate it back to zero degrees because otherwise it will just look like you've fallen on your side let's run it now and see so when I press the up key now it should move to the right there we go it's moving to the right and we can do the same to the left just rotate it to, to 270 degrees so when you move it will move to the left we can change db up key to db right key to db right key or to db left key or db down key to make the controls make sense so you wouldn't want to have the up key to move right so you would use db right key so let's just go and copy and paste this and show you that you can move left and right so db left key rotate it to 270 let's go and compile this now as you see the guy is not moving because none of the if statements are returning true the if statements check 60 times per second as that's what frame rate as that's the frame rate we told it to run at let's press the right key and you'll see that it moves to the right and if we press the left key it will move to the left hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you have learned a lot bye